What's the word everybody? It's your boy Jay Sice and in today's video, I'm about to show y'all a very simple but also useful text effect. You feel what I'm saying? You can use this in your music videos, you can use this in ads, you can use this kind of anywhere. So let's jump straight into this and let's get right. I'm gonna open this project file that I use for this tutorial. I already kind of did it, like I made an example here. As you can see, we got the text scrolling across the, the ground. You know what I'm saying? So when I get into this comp, I'm just gonna track my footage. And if you want, you can come down to advanced and hit detailed analysis. Right, all right. So now I'm gonna find somewhere where I wanna put my text. So I'm gonna just click and drag around a couple of individual or two, three points, just so I can get all of the points that are up to the ground. So I'm gonna hold shift and I'm clicking and dragging over single points, just like this. Now with this red circle on my screen, I'm gonna right click and set ground plane and origin. With the same thing highlighted, I'm gonna right click it again and just drop a null in the camera there. So now as you can see, we got a null. And now I'm gonna start doing this text. So we're gonna be doing a write on effect. Most of the time you wanna have a script font. So I'm gonna add a text layer. And as you can see, I already have mine cause this is what I was using before. And if you wanna know the name of a script font, this is the Alex brush. And let me uh, get my text. So once I have my text, I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm just gonna come to the mask tool by either clicking the pen, just pressing G, and with my text highlighted, I'm gonna make some neat curves inside of this text. I'm gonna run you guys through one letter and then I'm just gonna go through the rest. So as you can see, there's like a little hump right here. So I'm gonna like click, drag, and so if you wanna like direct where your next point is going to start, you can hold Alt and then click and drag over like the point that's on the outer skirt of, you know, of your text or your mask. So now I'm gonna grab this point, put it here and just click and drag and curve it like that. And just now hold Alt and get, get right just like that. So I'm gonna run through the rest of the T doing this. As you can see, I'm holding Alt. And to give it that script swag, we're gonna start at the end and just have the mask just a little bit outside of the text. So since this intersects with one another, I'm just gonna use another mask. So I'm gonna click away, click the text again, click on the outskirt and make my first curve. As you can see, I have a complete T with only two masks. So now I'm gonna complete the rest of my text. Or if the text doesn't break apart from each other, you can honestly do it in one mask. But yeah, let me show y'all. Let's get this. I'm gonna finish this. Let me speed this up now. My brother, so now that you have that mask finished, right? You're gonna see that you have about, well, for me, I have about seven different masks, but for you, it may be a little different depending on the font that you choose. So now that I have on my mask here, I'm gonna um, add a stroke to the text layer. So you can either go to um, effect and go to generate and go to stroke, or you can just add it. I usually like to add mine to the effects panel. When you get here, you're gonna, instead of choosing one mask path, you're gonna click all mask, come down, reveal on image, and let's make my brush size 30%, right? So once I change my brush size to around 30%, I'm gonna change the ending value to zero, make a stopwatch on the start. And now I'm gonna come to the middle of my timeline and I'm just gonna bring this up to 100, yeah. Sorry, I didn't have old mass checked, but now you can see the text is coming in. And now all you gotta do is hit U on the keyboard. F9, those keyframes, which is the easy ease. Right, so now as you can see, I got my text ready. And remember guys, I have my null there. So with my null there, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take the parent pick whip and put it on my null. Also, I'm gonna make this a 3D layer. 
as you can see it's on the floor i'm gonna press p on my null copy the position of my null i press and control c and then i'm gonna paste it on the position of the x by pressing control v also the rotation then i'm gonna adjust the rotation I'm gonna change the blending mode of my text. Let me move it where I want it. And then I'm going to change the blending mode to soft light just to make it blend in a little more. To be honest, um, you guys might have to watch a couple of tutorials on compositing and making things like this match. You know, you probably could add some tire streaks and things like that. But for the sake of the tutorial, I ain't doing all that. So now I'm going to duplicate my subject and I'm just going to come hit the rotoscope tool go into there. Also delete my camera track out there. And I'm going to just make a little easy mask around my subject. Not going to be perfect, but. Recompose it. Now you got your subject on top of the letters. When you have the soft light on and you have it over your clip. It might give you something that you think you're looking for, but if you look really closely, it's not giving you what you're looking for. As you can see, his hand is intersecting with the O. And then once he moves up, he starts intersecting even more. So yeah, this is essential. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure y'all always think about what to mask in and out of your scenes. You feel what I'm saying? So um, yeah, brothers, I'm gonna have some more tutorials like this coming soon, you feel me? If you like that, drop a like, comment, subscribe. And I'ma be back, my brothers. You feel what I'm saying? A peace.